What's going on guys? I'm Mario from Wired Workshop and today we're going to build a 3D printer enclosure with easy removable doors. Okay, so this is the enclosure I built for my CR10 S5. Now the reason I like this so much is because it's accessible from three different sides. You can easily take these doors off. And that is good for me because I'm constantly changing the filament and the nozzle to this thing. So being able to do that quickly definitely comes in handy. Uh, I also left some room here on the side for some electronics, the control box, and some switches here. One of the switches controls all the power to this table so I can kill that at any moment. This switch does all the lights up top, and there's also a switch up there that controls the exhaust fan which helps get out some of the fumes from ABS and other plastics. So the plan is to mimic this whole table and just build out for the smaller CR10S. With all that being said, let's start the build. All right, the frame to the table is not complete, but now it's time to start working on the enclosure. Now the enclosure is made up of this insulation board that I screwed to the back and the top of this thing. However, the two sides and the front are all gonna be doors. So I attach this eighth inch firm board to the insulation board. That way it stays rigid over time and the doors don't wanna flex as you're ripping them on and off. Now I attach these two by using some contact adhesive that had worked for my last enclosure that I had built a while back. This also gets reinforced by some of the screws for the handles and the acrylic panels I'm gonna put on here later on. Now, the way these doors stay on is magnets that get recessed into the wooden frame and into the back of the doors. That way, when you put it all together, the magnets lock in place while you're printing, and when you wanna take it off to retrieve your print or change parts, you rip it off easily and set it to the side.
The table and the enclosure are complete. I might add a better way to store my filament down here below. Uh, I could even put another printer down there. I'm not sure yet. Some things I would like to improve on this design would be the way I just vented it out the window. I feel like that could be better. Maybe cut something in outside and just have it go directly to that. And maybe even the way the filament feeds into the machine. Uh, if you have any ideas on how to improve this design, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.